Hey guys, I have another video for you, and it is cleaning your MacBook. Now, as you can see, maybe you can't see, but in between the keys is pretty dirty. There's some dirt here on the back. There's smudges everywhere. I, the camera's not picking it up. Um, see right there. Well, no, the camera can't see it. Anyway, um, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to clean that, um, in depth. So what I normally do is take one of these glasses cloths right there and if you don't wear glasses maybe someone in your family does or if no one in your family does these things are like a dollar for ten of them on uh, a dollar store or Amazon so they're not expensive and they're really handy because you can reuse them so now what I'm gonna do is uh, get some water now you have to be very careful with this let's move the MacBook there I'm going to get some water. I'm just going to lay this out flat like so. And then only that much put that on there. It's going to soak in as you can see getting bigger. Then what you're going to want to do is turn your MacBook off. So push the button right here or if you have a newer one it'll be right there. So just push that. Um all right, so just Hold it down, and it'll say restart, sleep, cancel, or shut down. You're going to want to push shut down. And if you've been using your MacBook like a lot, you're going to wait some time, so that way the screen doesn't get all messed up, because the, uh, these, well, I don't, I don't, I only think that's with the chemicals. Oh, uh, never mind. Never mind what I said. All right, guys. So now, let's just make sure, let's make sure it's off. All right, guys. Cool. So now you just want to take your cloth and rub it around the keys. It's actually really satisfying to do this. Oh man, I just see all that dirt going away. So I'm gonna catch you. I'm gonna catch you with you guys when I'm done with the keyboard part. Man, guys, um, th look how much better it looks. I wish I, this thing auto focused. Uh, whatever. Um, but anyway, it. I'll oh, trust me. It's better. Now the screen. Oh look, there's me. Hello. There's you guys. Um, so let's do the screen now. I forgot to mention with the screen, you want to be very careful. Because you can't just be doing this. Like, and then pushing down on it. Because that could easily break your hinge if you push down too far. So, what you want to do is clean it like this. Take one hand, put it behind, I'm holding a big clunky camera, take one hand, put it behind there, and then take your cloth and put it behind there so you're kind of like sandwiching it, you know what I mean? I can't do that now, but I'll show you when I get it done. Man, when I was using this, that was really, oh look, you can see my reflection even better, I think. Uh, anyway, when I was using this, um, that the smudges really annoyed me, but uh, just look at these, it's perfect. All right, guys, and now um, I'm going to clean the back. I think for this, since it's not electronic, I mean, it it is, but like not as much as the keyboard, I'm going to put some more water on there, like that, and then wipe it down so it's completely wiped. It's going to look kind of dull for a sec, but then once you uh, p polish, oh, yeah, look, there's an example, and then just rub it away. And they start to go away. This is actually really satisfying. All you guys know what I haven't done. Come to think of it, I mean, I'm done. But come to think of it, this MacBook I have is actually in really good condition compared to the other 2012 Mac Pro, MacBook Pros. I mean, like, usually they're super duper scuffed. I think this one was, like, taken really good care of because, I mean... It, it's when when it's actually clean, which it was. You know, dang it, my tripod's falling apart. When when it's when it was that when it's actually clean, it's spotless and perfect. In the back, not a single scratch. And then the bottom, I haven't cleaned the bottom. I don't want to get it on the back, but the bottom's a little bit dirty. But like, there's not scratches on it or anything. All right, guys. So now let's boot her up. And you guys can hear the amazing startup sound. I, I love this startup sound so much. 
let me know if, if I'm just being weird or is this sound really cool. Here we go. And you only have to push it. Oh, man, that sound is awesome. Anyway, guys, what I'm going to do while it's booting is take the cloth and get my glasses cases and open them. And this is pretty self-explanatory. But uh, I like folding my cloth. I mean, if you don't wear glasses, this is nothing to you. But I like folding my cloths, cloths, sorry, like this, like in half, then in half again, and then in half this way. So that way, it's a, it's that size. When and when you put them in your glasses case, it's like that, and then just stick. Oh man, I'm not used to this without my glasses but anyway and then it just looks so nice and professional and you just close it and there you go I'm gonna put these back on cuz I I don't like the real world I like the glasses world just sec uh, it booted up and uh, anytime you first boot it up it's gonna go to the original wallpaper uh, this is Catalina running Catalina but then, when you type in your password, like that, if it load, okay. Then there's my wallpaper. I made a video on how I got this wallpaper. Um, I don't want I'm, and when I started up, it always does this. Like what? Why? I don't want this. Sign ID, after ID, message, any Mac, iPhone. Uh, yes, but I don't want this. So when I push not now, it wants me to. So I want to push skip. It forces me to. And then it loads. And keep, keeps loading. And then I'm forced to just close it. C come on, load. Okay. And this one closes. But then that is just always right there. And I don't want it there. Then when I try to delete it, oh wait, could I just move it to the trash? No, you can't. Maybe if I just removed it, like completely? No, I, that doesn't work. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.